I was talking to a captain uh, a few days ago who was saying that his uh, ship was only able to do 12 knots, whereas the pirate skiff was able to do about 30 knots, I think. What's the general, what's the, what's the top speed of, say, a container ship if it was, I know they're all different, but just broadly <laughs> speaking? They, they, they vary significantly, um, and a lot of them, with the current economic climate, are slow steaming at, at uh, not that they steam these days with diesel engines, um, but they're normally running at slightly slower speeds um, and uh, slotting extra ships in so that uh, uh, eight or nine rather than uh, nine or ten, sorry, ten or, ten or nine or ten ships rather than eight or nine do the uh, the, the weekly runs out to the Far East. If they're operating at full speed, many of the container ships can do 25, 26 knots. Uh, there are one or two um, which uh, were the first to be laid up in the current economic crisis that could do 27, 28 knots fully laden service, service speed. And what, what's the... Um most people won't know what the turn of speed is. If you if you look at something like Top Gear, they tell you a car will go from naught to sixty in four seconds. I mean, <laughs> to get to twenty six, twenty seven knots, how how long would it take a container ship to? It would take a couple of hours to get up to full speed. So really, that's uh, pretty hopeless. If you if you've got a a pirate assault um, with a light skiff, um, you're not going really to be able to do much, are you? That's right. And to overcome this, they have looked at various ways of including running convoys, particularly through the, that uh, area of uh, Somalia and uh, Ethiopia, um, and uh, often with a, a, a military, uh, a naval vessel from one of the European countries in, in close proximity. So they're, they're looking at uh, you know, things from the Second World War of running convoys to, to try and um, overcome this problem. The problem is, of course, that this then brings it down to the the slowest speed in, of a ship in the convoy and you get small bulk carriers and uh, other small vessels which struggle to do 12 or 13 knots okay. as a service speed. Um, what, would you, what would be your ship of choice if you were to uh, <laughs> be looking for a, a way through um, the Gulf of Aden or around the Horn of Africa? A warship. <laughs> uh, the pirates did in fact, uh, one of their high-speed boats in poor visibility did try to attack one of the, uh, um, the, the the warships that was patrolling the area until they got very close and realised at the last minute they picked the, uh, the wrong target. But if you're looking at merchant ships, um, really you've got to try and go for something like uh, a large container ship, simply because uh, the large container ships A have got more speed uh, and uh, can therefore keep up or close to being up with the the, uh, the attack boats, but also the they've got very high uh, or very considerable distance between the water line and the decks, and therefore it's very much more difficult for the the pirates to get their grappling irons uh, onto the uh, onto the decks to, so that they can get their ladders on to to get up. Obviously, they use things like. Um, uh, explosive charges to, to send them up, but uh, they've got a lot less to aim at. Yes, um, I mean, if uh, if a container ship is uh, fully laden with containers, isn't it? And um, isn't it going to be quite uh, low in the water? No, you're still going to have probably I haven't looked at the figures, but probably 30 or 40 feet um, between the water level and the and the main deck. The pr one problem, of course, is the container ships tend to have very, very small crews, um, and some of the very, very big ones uh, that maybe carry 10, 12,000 containers may only have a, crew, a total crew uh, of uh, a dozen to 15, um, uh, and some of those are going to be um, not, not working when an attack takes place. Others are going to be down in the engine room. Uh, and therefore there's a fairly limited number of crew to repel borders. Mm. So there's a sort of built-in vulnerability in that, really? There is a, a built-in um, vulnerability, yes. yeah. Um, and really, you know, if, if a pirate's uh, approaching and, and firing off rounds and so on, is it going to pierce the, the side of ships and so on? Or? 
that are they fairly thick steel? It obviously depends exactly what they're firing. A lot of them tend to have the, these sort of shoulder-mounted mortars as well as just light, light, uh, light weapons. Uh, light weapons would be no problem at all because a, a modern container ship is going to have uh, plating of probably uh, 25 to 35 millimeter thick, particularly in, in the bow and stern sections. Uh, and therefore it's unlikely that uh, um, small arms fire is going to cause a problem um, to, to the hull of the ship. Do you think that ship owners might eventually reroute round Cape Good Hope? It's very expensive. Yes, I think it very much depends on the amount of uh, international uh, naval support. Uh, a large number of European and America, other countries have got uh, vessels in that area at the moment. Uh, as long as that is maintained, I think that that will, to some extent, keep the piracy under control uh, and, and shippers will continue to, to, to use the, the Suez Canal to get from uh, the Far East to, to Europe, which is obviously the main route. Um, the route, that particular route, you're only going to get something like 30 to 40 ships a day tra transiting the Suez Canal in each direction and therefore you're talking about a fairly limited number of vessels. The canal cannot cope with any greater number because of the convoy system, uh, the one-way convoy system that they have to use um, and, and therefore provided that they are getting naval support uh, and provided that the insurance costs are not getting too significant uh, merchant shipping companies will continue to use that area. If it does get too bad, as was when the Suez Canal was closed by the um, Egypt or the, 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 the uh, first war on the, uh, between Israel and, and Egypt, um, obviously they will then un, end up going round the Cape of Good Hope. But it does add several weeks uh, onto the voyages and significant costs, which mm. they, shippers don't want at the moment.